Hi everyone. Welcome to On Point. In this video we are going to discuss about HBSAG test. So without any delay let's start the video. HBSAG test. HBSAG blood test is used to detect hepatitis B surface antigen. Hepatitis B is a serious liver infection caused by the hepatitis B virus, HBV. For some people, hepatitis B infection becomes chronic, meaning it lasts more than six months. Having chronic hepatitis B increases your risk of developing liver failure, liver cancer, or cirrhosis, a condition that causes permanent scarring of the liver. If you are HBSAG positive, it means you are infectious for the virus, and can pass it to other people through your blood, or body fluids. Method Principle HBSAG card test utilizes the principle of immunochromatography, a unique assay based on antigen capture, or sandwich principle. The method uses monoclonal antibody conjugated, to colloidal gold, and polyclonal antibodies, immobilized on nitrocellulose strip in thin line. As the test sample flows through the membrane, assembly of the test device, the colored monoclonal anti-HBSAG colloidal gold conjugate complexes, with the HBSAG in the sample. This complex moves further on the membrane, to the test region where it is immobilized, by a polyclonal anti-HBSAG antiserum coated on the membrane, leading to formation of a pink-purple colored band. The formation of first purple band, T-zone, confirms a positive test result. Absence of this colored band in the test region, indicates a negative test result. Hepatitis B Symptoms Signs and symptoms of hepatitis B, ranging from mild to severe, usually appear about 1 to 4 months, after you've been infected. They may include Abdominal pain Dark urine Fever Joint pain Loss of appetite Nausea, and vomiting Weakness, and fatigue Yellowing of your skin, and the whites of your eyes, jaundice Causes the hepatitis B virus is passed from person to person, through blood, semen, or other body fluids. With a positive HBSAG, transmission routes for infection include Sexual contact, you may become infected, if you have unprotected sex, with an infected partner, whose blood, saliva, semen, or vaginal secretions enter your body. Sharing of needles, HPV is easily transmitted through needles, and syringes contaminated with infected blood. Sharing intravenous drug, paraphernalia puts you at high risk of hepatitis B. Accidental needle sticks, hepatitis B is a concern for healthcare workers, and anyone else who comes in contact with human blood. Mother to child, people who are pregnant, and are infected with HPV, can pass the virus to their babies during childbirth. However the newborn can be vaccinated, to avoid getting infected in almost all cases. That's all for now, for more updates please do like, share, and subscribe, see you in next video, thank you.